Hello, I'm the Silver Wheel Witch. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, a results of pen test on this Luchsturm 1917 120 GSM notebook. I went ahead and did it ahead of time because I wanted to do a pretty extensive test here. And so let's just go ahead and dive right into it. The first inks I used on this page here are all of my bulletproof, waterproof, fade proof, super inks, archival inks that I plan on using inside the other copy of this journal I have that is lined for my journal. And everything else is more artsy that I would like to use inside this journal, which I'm going to be using for a grimoire. So as you can see, the top line I used a Twisby Echo fountain pen with Noodler's ink, uh, the Bulletproof black ink, and I also used the Uniball Sino 207 medium pens that come in multiple colors, as well as the Sakura Pigma Microns that have uh, archival ink and their brush pens as well. And all of these pens have no bleed through and really hardly any shadowing at all on them, which I'm thrilled about. And I mean, that's just fantastic. And I've pretty much found that throughout the rest of this as well. I'm pretty happy with this paper. I will say that the fountain pen wrote extremely smoothly on this paper. It The pen just floats over the page and you do have to let the ink dry a little, um, which I would much rather have to wait for my ink to dry personally than um, to have a more fibrous, scratchy paper um, to write on that'll absorb the ink. So the next I used Uni Balls, um, again, Sinos that are just their gel pens. I don't know that these are um, they're super ink. I don't think they are. Uh, they just come in a lot of really pretty colors and they're gel so they write smoothly. Those also, as you can see here, did not have any kind of bleed through or shadowing. On this side of the paper, I used my midliner highlight markers and I made sure to do them in between the lines on here. And as you can see, there is no, no bleed through, no shadowing at all. Now on this side, I decided to go ahead and use a couple of paint pens I had that are oil-based paint pens. I had a silver and uh, gold colored pens. Uh, those did, and I did the silver one down here, a block of it as well. And those do have some shadowing. No bleed through, but a little bit of shadowing on the other side. And I used a couple random other um, highlighters and pens that I had laying around. Um, and those didn't bleed through either. Just some shadowing with the oil-based pens. I also happen to have a um, set of the Stab Stabilo .88 fine point uh, little marker pens and those did as you can see have a little bit of shadowing on here but no bleed through and I don't mind the shadowing really when the paper is flat it's not it's not too much shadowing I mean you can tell something's on the other side of the page but it doesn't really overpower what's on the page you're looking at. Now, I did the Sharpie test. I used every color I had in both Ultra Fine and Fine Point because I wanted to really see how the Sharpies held up on this paper because I have seen a lot of pen tests on all the various different 160 GSM papers out there and a lot of them bled through. Um, so, I was really curious, and as you can see, it has some pretty strong shadowing 
for most of it, but only in areas where, I mean, I really went over these a lot of times. It has a little bit of bleed through, but um, minor in comparison to the journal tests I've seen on the 160 GSM papers, though honestly, I don't own a 160 GSM notebook at this time, so um, I don't have a comparison for how many times I went over these spots um, on the paper. But I am very happy that even with a Sharpie, I know if I'm gonna do just a quick once over, it's just gonna have some strong shadowing on there. I also used my calligraphy pens. Uh, excuse the messy writing because I do not know how to write calligraphy yet, but I did have quite a few pens on hand for that, um, as is something I wanna learn how to do. And I'm very happy that those have some shadowing, light shadowing, and that's it. You can see it a little bit more. The light, it's really pretty faint shadowing especially in comparison to the, the Sharpies, you can really see it. Okay, and then last I did a watercolor test. Um, I was, I used a lot of water on these and tried to really saturate the paper to see uh, how it would turn out. And then additionally, I did this spiral here and I did it over again to kind of really do layers on top of layers of the watercolor and as I pretty much expected the paper got really wrinkly I mean it's not intended for watercolors but I was very surprised that I had literally no bleed through at all on this paper with the watercolor even though I used a ton of water on there um, and really there's like not really even shadow. I mean, you can kind of see where the lines are and that's because of the wrinkle in the paper, but not really shadowing from the color at all. It just made it wrinkly. So, I mean, that would be a personal choice. I probably will not use any watercolor in this grimoire. If I do, it'll probably be a little, and yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, just some wrinkly paper there. And that's that's it. I used everything I had on hand to try and really test this paper out. And all in all, the only thing that actually had bleed through with multiple passes over the same spot was the Sharpies and not that much bleed through. Um, and the Sharpie again was the one with the strongest shadow. Everything else that shadowed was pretty faint. You can tell something's on the other side, but it doesn't really impose on the page you're looking at if you were to have something else on it. And there you have it, the pen test for the Luchsturm 1920 GSM paper. For more videos, please check my playlist on my channel. And if you would like information about me, other social networks that I am on, uh, please check the about section of my channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.